What were you wearing? A cute mini dress, a sundress. A question often asked of sexual assault victims. Why'd you go to that party by yourself? Why did you take that route home? Questions that Jan Morrison with the NOAA Project say often place blame on victims. We want this month to illustrate that none of those questions are applicable to these situations. And to help illustrate that to the community, they are having a what was I wearing touring exhibit. Months later, my mother would stand in front of my closet and complain about how I never wore any of my dresses anymore. I was six years old. Where victim stories can be displayed with a replica of the outfit they were wearing when they were assaulted. The first time I was wearing sweats and a t-shirt. The second time I was wearing a cheer uniform. He ripped the buttons and I had to get it altered afterwards. I hated cheer after that and quit before the season was over. NOAA Project not only wants to spread awareness, but to help victims. Mental health is very important in healing from um, sexual assault. Marissa Sullivan, family therapist for NOAA Project, says they want to help victims find healing. There's so much blame, shame, and guilt that surrounds sexual assault and that causes people to feel like they have to live in secrecy. Sullivan says all their services are free and confidential. Could you imagine having that happen to you in this outfit, then having to have the outfit repaired and continuing to wear it. In Abilene with coverage you can count on. Marley Capper, KTAB News.